friends, welcome back to The Oily Life. So today I thought I'd take you along with me, just kind of a day in the life of a small business owner. So I have some errands to run this morning. I need to drop some orders off at the post office and I need to go scour the Dollar Trees in my area to find some ramekins for some more solid dish soaps. Um, and then we need to make the solid dish soaps as well. So I hope you enjoy this little glimpse into a kind of typical Saturday for me and we can kind of hang out together and chit chat and uh, just work through the day. So our first stop is the post office and we're gonna see if I can get this 20 pounds of solid dish soap inside successfully. All right, so it was a little sketchy <laughs> getting the doors opened, but I did get it inside. Um, I've had a lot of bigger, um, not bigger, of uh, 10 to 12 dish soaps um, and they're kind of heavy because I put them in like a ceramic container from the Dollar Tree. Um, so box sizing has been something I'm still trying to figure out. Uh, the box I used today was 16 by 16 by 12 and there was 12 dish strokes in it, which that was a little too big. Um, the boxes I put the dish strokes in are four by four. Um, they're cute, four by four by four, I believe. And um, there was just too much space, so I had to do a lot of filler. But a lot of it, like the um, large uh, flat rate box from uh, the post office, they wouldn't all fit in that. So I kind of just had to find a random box to use. So I definitely need to like figure out the best box size to use for those orders, um, just because uh, it's been a hodgepodge so far. But we got it in, we didn't drop anything, so now we're gonna head to Dollar Tree and hopefully find some ramekins at the first one we stop at. So Dollar Tree was semi-successful. I got enough ramekins for one of the orders I have due, but not for the second one. So I think for today, we're gonna go ahead and just go home and make the order that we have enough for. And then tomorrow we'll run to a different Dollar Tree and see if they have any ramekins there. I did bulk order some, they just haven't come in yet. Um, so that's why I'm having to kind of scour the different Dollar Trees but have enough for the eight I need for the first order, so that's what we're gonna roll with. All right, so we have our basic standard characters in our container here. So my solid dish soap is coconut oil, steric acid, olive oil, and castor oil. And then for this soap, I do hot process, I, or not hot process, heat transfer. I don't do that with any of my other soaps, but this one's pretty basic. So it's just quick and easy, which is why I like it. So we're gonna get that in there and just kind of start to stir it around a little bit. Now this container is a little overkill for this size batch, but this container is a little too small. So <laughs> this is the one we're going with so I don't make a horrible mess. And it takes about five minutes for it to melt the coconut oil, so not too bad. It'd probably go faster if I uh, cut the coconut oil into smaller chunks, but I don't. So <laughs> five minutes is about how long it takes. So I just keep stirring it until it's basically all melted. And I will say this solid dish soap has been a real surprise for me. I thought I would sell one or two here or there. I like the concept of it, but I didn't think it was going to be super popular. Um, but I've sold like 50 in three weeks, so not too bad. Mostly on Fairy. I'm new to Fairy, which is a wholesale website kind of like Etsy. So I'm still kind of learning the ins and outs of it. I would prefer to do it directly through my website because through Fairy you do pay them a commission just like you do on Etsy. Um, but, you know, 
it's hard to drive traffic to your own website at least initially so I don't get the kind of traffic I think that I need for me to solely do it through my own website and if you didn't know I have a website it's the oily life for me dot com the number four and I sell my products on that site as well as there is a blog where I share a lot of DIY recipes and some essential oil information and things like that. And it's always linked down in the description box so you can go check it out. And I always have a discount code for any of you that come over from YouTube and that's down in the description box as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in my lemon eucalyptus essential oil now too. And this is a uh, essential oil that has a pretty low usage rate, but it's great for cleansing. So for this size batch, which I'm making a double batch from my original recipe, it's only 0.48 ounces of essential oil. So not a ton but a little goes a long way it's very strong it smells kind of like lemongrass um, but maybe with a little bit more acidity to it but it's great for cutting through grease and things so that's why i use it in this solid dish soap i don't offer any other scents right now but i'm thinking of adding in like a citrus blend like a lemon and orange or something like that or a tea tree uh, just some a couple of other scents to mix it up i'm also planning to offer refills on this solid dish soap i think i found what will be a good silicone mold option on amazon to make the refills in it's a round uh, silicone cake pan mold so I'm gonna start experimenting with those and seeing if I can get it to fit into these ramekins because that is the idea is to be able to, you know, not have any sort of plastic waste or anything like that and not have people have to buy the container as well, which the containers, they can be used for other things if you didn't refill it with dish, dish soap, but it's nice to have a refill option. All right, so that looks pretty good there. It's fine if there's a couple small little chunks. Um, those will get blended up with a stick blender. You just want the majority of it to be melted. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a blend. And that looks good there and that's all there is to the soap like you just get all your ingredients in there add your lye water your essential oil give it a good blend and then just get it into your ramekins and it does it does get pretty thick sometimes I have to scoop it in sometimes I can pour it in kind of just depends on the day It's definitely already got like a uh, pudding texture, if you can see that there. So kind of thick, but like I said, that's kind of how these go. Clear myself a little space. All right, so now, we just take our scale, grab a ramekin, try not to make a terrible mess, which sometimes I'm successful, sometimes I am not. It's probably mostly not successful on making a terrible mess. And then we're just gonna go ahead and get this scooped in. Yeah. 
And you can see as I'm getting it in here how thick it actually is. Then a good tap on the table. That is what she looks like. Okay, I got seven more to fill up here. Is all there is to it. You just leave them here and let them set up overnight and then let them cure and they are good to go. And here's what they look like the next day. As you can see they turn a nice kind of creamy white uh, from all the coconut oil that is in them. And then just to package them I have these little muffin boxes that I got off Amazon and I can get some of this stuff out of the way. And I just set them down in there like that. And then I put a little piece of parchment paper on top. And then the brush and a piece of tissue paper and that is all there is to it. Just put a label on the front and they are good to go. So I hope you enjoyed seeing kind of what my typical Saturday is like. I'm usually either making things, packing orders, or gathering supplies. Um, I work a regular nine to five during the week. That kills my soul a little bit. But at this point, I still have to do it. And then my weekends are pretty much dedicated to making things for my business. So I hope you enjoyed seeing my little uh, Saturday today and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.